Today I'm going to show you how to install the desktop version of TaxWise. If you've received our email in regards to the 2018 software, you can go ahead and open it and scroll to where it says TaxWise Desktop. It will want to take you to my.joincit.com. If you already have it bookmarked, then go ahead and head over to it. On the software section where it says desktop download, go ahead and select it and then select 2018. It will put a file at the bottom left corner of Google Chrome. Once it is done, you can go ahead and select it to run. You'll be prompted to say yes or no as far as the security option goes. Go ahead and select yes. So the first screen that will appear is to select the language for the installation. Go ahead and select whichever language and hit OK. It's going to take you to preparing to install. Then it'll bring up another window for you to be able to uh, install. Hit the next button. This is your license agreement. In order to proceed, you're going to have to accept the terms for the licensing agreement and then hit next. This is where you decide which uh, drive to install the software to. If you are installing this to a network drive, it will actually pick up that you do have networks on here. And you can say, are you installing it to a network drive? Yes. So go ahead and select the server and select the workstation number for the computer and hit next and hit install. This is where it's going to install the rest of the software. Once done, go ahead and select finish. It is going to require that you restart your computer. So go ahead and hit yes. Once the computer reboots and you open up the 2018 installation, it's automatically going to bring up your setup assistant. This is where you're going to enter your EFIN and your registration code that you'll find in the email that was sent out to you. Go ahead and enter it. You can validate the code. We're going to go to the next. This is where you, if you are a new install, go ahead and select a new install. Otherwise, use uh, last year's tax configuration. So it'll bring over the user groups, the letters, uh, EIN database, and so forth. So go ahead and select load configuration. Hit OK. Once this is done, go ahead and select the next button. This is where your partner verification comes into play and you can go ahead and select the refresh data. And once that's done, hit next. This is where you're going to enter all of your office information as far as the contact name, the company name, phone number, so forth and so forth. Hit next. Hit next to go to the groups and users. If you already have them already in here, that's fine. If you need to create new ones and you want to create a specific group with only certain capabilities, head over to the security group. This is where you will go hit new, label the group name, and put all of the available actions to the right hand side that you want this group to have the capabilities of doing so. Once that is done, head back to the users tab select new, type in the username, put a password in there, select the assigned group, hit OK. You're going to give this information over to the uh, users in the office. Once you're done there, hit next. This is your prepare information. If it came over from last year, and if not, go ahead and select new. My first one in here is labeled as one, so the next one that I'm going to do is uh, two, and I'm going to put all the information as far as the preparer goes. So on the main information screen at the bottom, if I put two, hit enter or tab, it'll bring in that information. Once I'm done with this section, go ahead and select next. This is where you're going to set up your printer options. Once you're done, hit next. This is where you're going to set up your uh, submission ID. If you're on a network, it's usually set to zero, you're fine. 
If you're working on standalone computers, then make sure that you come in here and put these numbers to different options. The first computer set to zero, second computer set to a thousand, third computer three, uh, two thousand, so forth and so forth. Hit next. This is where you're going to carry forward your returns from the previous season. Make sure that the drive is selected to where the UTS-17 folder is and select whatever you want to bring over as far as the W-2s, prepare information and tax reminders. Select carry forward taxpayer data. It will ask for the usernames. You can select them all at once and hit OK. And the returns in the system, you can select one by one or select all clients. And it will bring them over and say that it's complete. Once you're done with this, go ahead and select Save as Workstation Default and hit Save and Close. 